Today you're going to learn how to change the default click sound in Logic Pro 10. Go to the environment on the mixer layer and take note that Logic reserves channel 256 of an instrument track for the click and channel 256 of an audio track for the pre-listen. I'm going to show you later how to recreate manually this channel strip in case you delete it accidentally when you're working in the environment. So change this default sound of Klopfgeist to your choice of plugin. I'm going to use a really simple contact instrument I made with a URI click sound, but you can use like a drum kit or an alchemy patch, really whatever you want. Pitch tracking is turned on for this instrument, so I'm gonna to wanna to specify the MIDI note that the metronome plays. And you can do that in metronome settings. I'm gonna change that to C4 and turn off group and bar. I don't need those right now. Let's listen to it. Pretty good so far, but it's accenting beat one and I don't want that right now. So turn off polyphonic clicks and that helps. Now what happens if you did accidentally delete this channel strip and you saved your project that way and you open it up again later and even though this is highlighted, your click is not coming out. Well, I can think of maybe two solutions to this. The first obvious one is to just make a new project based on your template or one of Logic's templates that have a working click and import your project data. But I think it's faster just to recreate the channel strip that has the click on it in the environment. So let's walk through that right now. Go to new channel strip. You need instrument, but there's a problem. It's grayed out. In project settings, audio, channel strips, if you disable this checkbox, you'll be able to click on instrument. This is automatic management of channel strip objects. In general, I suggest that you just leave that box checked unless you know what you're doing or you're doing what we're doing right now, creating a new click track in the environment or a pre-listen track. Now you can create a new click or pre-listen track in Logic Mixer, but I think it's much cleaner to do it in the environment because you're never really gonna need to see these tracks. So let's do it. Now we can change the channel back to 256 like it was at the beginning. And you'll see that solo save is automatically enabled, but you can control click to toggle it and you can command click to rename. You can rename it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And let's say you accidentally deleted at one point this MIDI click. Now the MIDI click object in the click and ports layer is not a channel strip object. So it doesn't matter if this box is checked or not. So I'm gonna check it for now, just so I don't forget. Go to new and MIDI metronome click and it's back. You can put this anywhere and you don't have to connect it to anything for it to work. So if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. Check the description for some more info and leave a comment if you need some clarification. I'm Maycap. Stay tuned.